everyone, Ashley Sanders here, and finally, something I ordered on Black Friday that is going to help the stream immensely has finally arrived. It's January 6th, so I've waited well over a month. There are also a few shipping delays sprinkled in between those dates, but guess what is finally here? My custom-made Origin PC has finally arrived. As you can see, it comes in a pretty thick wooden crate and the, there's a box inside. So as you unbox your Origin PC, right when you take the lid off, keep in mind there are six screws, two on either side all around the box that you must unscrew first. Already did that prior to recording, but once you take that lid off, there is a piece of paper and folder, which I'm presuming has all the PC specs, maybe some contact information, anything you'll need to know about your PC build. I've changed location, but this is the box right inside of the wooden crate. And on top of the box was just an important piece of paper. You also get a free cat. I'm just kidding, that's Raven. You get a piece of paper with some information as well as a folder, an Origin PC folder. I looked inside, it includes the specs, the quality count. Um, I redeemed a Black Friday prize. One of the Black Friday redemptions are in there as well. All the information you need is supplied in this folder as well as given in this important sheet. Again, that was underneath the wooden crate but on top of the cardboard box. Just a quick interruption. I am doing this selfie style, so I apologize for any shakiness. I'm trying to limit it as much as possible, but here's the next step of the PC unboxing. So once you get the cardboard box out of the big wooden crate and take this uh, opening tape off, this is what your view is. To the left, I had the option to pick a free Origin t-shirt, so let me unfold that and show it for you all. So this is the Origin PC shirt. As you can see, their logo is front and center. I did fold it so it wouldn't hang off the desk, but this is the size medium. Medium is the smallest size you can go, but I believe the t-shirts range up to an extra large, possibly bigger. I'm not too sure, but I believe you have two options between medium and extra large, if I'm not mistaken. Next in the box is a littler box. Let's see what's inside. Okay, everyone, there is a lot of information in this box. To the left, it looks to be a bunch of pamphlets that correlate with the different specs that I had put into the PC. And on the right side of the box, we seem to have a cable that coincides, I'm assuming, with two of these screw packets. Again, I want to read through everything and make sure I know what I'm doing and we'll hopefully have more information either later in this video or, or in the description box below. Furthermore, we have a true gaming, what looks to be like a mini paper shield. There's no backing, so it's not quite a pin, but still neat nonetheless. We also have a Corsair logo and an Origin PC logo on a Flash Voyager Slider X1. As you can see, if it focuses, it does say 32 gigs, so I am assuming this is a flash drive. Pretty, pretty cool. And then there's an extra pamphlet that kind of <laughs> came to the wrong side. We have this, which I'm not quite sure what this is. I want to say it looks like a pocket knife. Let's go open it up and see. So evidently, this is definitely not a pocket knife. It kind of looked like it through the exterior, though I do not own a pocket knife, so I guess I was not the best one to judge this. But it is a Lightning Gen M.2. This is what the backside looks like. Again, there's some two screws and then a soft padding that is covered. So I'm assuming that is something to do with connecting uh, uh, to the motherboard. As we can see, it looks like a lot of these pamphlets have a ton of information for the motherboard itself. Later in this video, I will go through all of the different specs. It looks like we have finally made progress to the PC itself. Let's get this thing out of this box. We're almost to the PC, I should have specified. I took the foam insert out. Everyone say hello, Raven. Hi, Raven. I love you. And upon taking the foam insert out, we see something here. And we see something here. These are the other two items that I got through the Black Friday promotion. Let's go unbox those. The first of the two items in the box is a Corsair K55 RGB gaming keyboard. You kind of need a keyboard to get a PC, so I'm very, I am very fortunate that this was a Black Friday promotional item that I was able to snag for this PC. 
Alongside the gaming keyboard, I most definitely needed a new mouse. So again, this is a Corsair branded. This is the Harpoon RGB gaming mouse. I will say I am not the most experienced in different uh, mice and keyboards. So I'm assuming this is great starter quality. Not lo really looking to update any mice or keyboards, but I think this is a great place to start. Let me know in the comment section below if you have a favorite mouse, if you have a favorite keyboard anything that i might look into but i'm very very grateful for both the mouse and the keyboard let's put them side by side right here pretty awesome snags in this black friday promotion because these are two items that i did not have prior to this pc i did have a different mouse but it was like a 15 dollars mouse that i got through amazon so nice to have a true gaming mouse plus both of these items are rgb so we're gonna have some lights let's go Quick pause before we get to the PC. I'm looking at it. We are almost there. I forgot to mention what my third Black Friday promotional item was, and that was a $50 Visa gift card. It is contained in the black folder that we originally opened up, the, the folder that came um, right outside of the cardboard box, but beneath the wooden crate. So yes, of, I was able to pick three Black Friday promotional offers. I got a $50 Visa gift card, the gaming mouse, and the gaming keyboard. Those were all part of a Black Friday special, and I'm very fortunate to have gotten this during the Black Friday because I most definitely needed a mouse and a keyboard, and hey, $50, I can maybe buy that, or excuse me, put that to use for maybe some other specs, maybe some LED lights, maybe an Elgato Stream Deck. I'm not sure if you all have any ideas or things that you love that's a part of your setup that's around $50, please let me know, but I can also always use it for my textbooks because those are important and pretty expensive. There's something to the left. Let me pull it out here that I did not originally notice. Let's see what this is. All right, it is a Corsair little baggie. And upon, upon opening it up, ah, uh, yes. Cables, 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 all of the cables. I'm going to put this aside for right now. I might just make this its own separate video, or I will include what these cables are later in this video, but I'm just too dang excited. Let's get to the PC. I have pulled the PC out of the box. There's just another foam insert that the PC was um, resting upon, but it is time. I just wanted to turn the PC around a bit. We do have the Origin PC logo on the other side. There's a bit of a cloth covering, again, probably to keep dust out of the system and another protective measurement for the system because PCs are expensive and this is built to last a very long time. So we don't want any dust particles or anything else that can get into the PC to possibly damage it. Let's get this cloth covering taken off though now. I was able to undo the cloth that was wrapped around the bottom of the PC, so let's try to do this together. Again, I am doing this selfie style, so I apologize if this isn't the best camera quality or view, but let's go through this together and hopefully make the most of it. Let's take this off. Let's be gentle. Might have to work on the back a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, this is a beautiful angle. We're almost there, everyone. Bear with me, I appreciate your patience. Ooh, oh, this was attached to it. Hold up. The cloth comes out, comes off, and there's the PC. What came off of the PC with the cloth was this top. It's a little magnetic covering. As you can see, it goes over the top of the PC. Again, I'm assuming something to do with cooling and or protection of the PC. And it is magnetic, so I hope you heard that it does kind of click into place. What a beautiful PC. I did go with the Black Origin PC case. Again, I will list all the specs in the description as well as talk about them later in this video. But this PC, oh my goodness, it is pristine. It is lovely. The other side is just plain black. Oh my goodness, as you can see as well, there is like a little packaging slip protecting all of this hardware inside the PC. Definitely must remove that before starting the PC, but 
Oh my goodness. I just have to set everything up, go through all of those cords. This is very unreal right now, but I'm very excited. Before I plug in the PC and read a bunch of pamphlets and go through all the different cords, I just wanted to spend a minute or two to kind of summarize my journey and then put out what I plan to do for the future. I started streaming May 8th of 2020, and in two months, at the end of July, I was able to apply for Twitch Partnership, and then a month later, at the end of August, I was then accepted into the Twitch Partner Program. I streamed directly through my PlayStation. I did not have a capture card. I obviously did not have a PC. It was just my PlayStation, and then I also had my laptop, so I always had chat and my creator dashboard set up besides my TV. I started playing and streaming with the TV. I was then able to upgrade to a monitor, I believe in the middle of August. So it's very, very neat and cool to me to kind of see the culmination of all of these events kind of falling into place ever since I decided to go live on May 8th. And I just want to give a huge thank you to all of you. You all have made this moment possible. You have made this video possible. You have made my live streams possible. I am so incredibly, incredibly grateful and fortunate that every time I go live, I have so many of you to hang out with, chat, get to know you, and I would never give that up for the world. Like I said, this is just the start. I am a junior in college, so we at least have the rest of my college career to figure out streaming. And don't you worry, my goal is to keep on streaming for as long as I'm able to, even past college, into my job, maybe streaming becomes a job. I definitely treat it as a job. Streaming has become like a business to me. Like this is my business. And again, this is all in part of my hard work, but more so all of you, again, who come into the stream every single day when I'm live, hang out, chat, and overall are just good people. So I want to thank all of you for making this possible. I'm incredibly fortunate for all of you. I as much as I am excited about this PC, I know a lot of you, maybe most of you, are going to be absolutely elated when this is all put together and we have a more aesthetically pleasing stream and can do a bunch more stuff on stream as well. I've been thinking about ideas and how I want to expand this stream and having this PC is an awesome way to kickstart this all off. But we do want to give the PlayStation all of the gratitude and thanks as well. Without a PlayStation, we can't play I'm Be The Show, and I'm Be The Show is what also has helped put me into this position that I am right now. So thank you, PlayStation. Thank you, I'm Be The Show. And last but not least, thank you, Origin PC. I did a lot of research on a bunch of different PC companies. A few of my friends uh, then pointed me to the direction of Origin PC. I absolutely loved it. You can customize basically everything. It is really cool. And the thing that I like about this is although it is pre-built, it's custom made. So unlike some other pre-built models, if a part is uh, later updated, it's broken, it usually is a hassle to replace it. Origin PC, they make everything. So if there's a new product, pull it out, put the new product back in. Obviously, it's a, it's a little bit more complicated than that. But overall, I went with this model because I was able to get all of the specs for future proofing the PC. So we're gonna be good to go for hopefully two or three more generations of consoles with the PS5 and the Xbox X, or right, Xbox X? I'm not an Xbox person. I do have a 360 though. So feel free to correct me in the comments about that. I don't have a PS5 yet because we got a P uh, PC, but PS5 is next on the list. Well, that's just a big tangent to say that this P PC is ready to do pretty much anything for years and years to come. And last but not least, I do also want to recognize the awesome, and when I say awesome, I feel like it sounds like an understatement because it was absolutely phenomenal working through with everyone that I've worked with Origin PC. They have an online chat. Um, with the days and weeks leading up to purchasing the PC, I talked to three different people via their online chat. And then when my PC was finally in the building process, I was then assigned my own sales representative who answered all of my questions in a very timely fashion, was incredibly nice, and basically walked me through each and every step. So I'm very, very thankful for the team at Origin PC. This is not sponsored. Um, as you all know, I'm, I love to give my thanks. I don't care if I say thank you a million times in one minute. I just want to make sure the person who deserves to hear that thank you hears that thank you no matter how many thank yous I have to say. So thank you, Twitch chat. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, PS4. Thank you, Umbi The Show. And thank you, Origin PC. I'm very, very excited to see where this goes. And thank you, White Sox. Big shout out to the White Sox. Do you like the new PC, Raven? Yeah? What about Maleficent? I think they like it. We got their approval. All right, Raven is going to help me unscrew these four little tabs, take out the plastic, and then we'll be inside the PC, able to take out that insert and be one step. Hey, Mimomo, are you ready? Yeah, I'm going to go jump up and help. Oh, let's go. Okay, Raven, Maleficent, and I took off the four knobs. So now it's time to peel back the protective seal. I will finish. Ah! Oh, it opened. Be right back. The plastic wrap is off of the cover. The screws, Maleficent, Raven, and I took that off of the cover as well. All that's left to do is to take this insert out. Let's do it. What a beauty this Neuron Origin PC is. It is very well equipped. Everything looks incredibly organized. Going over just a few specs, we got some fans. We have some liquid cooling. Is this Corsair and these cords? Looks like we have our 32 gigabyte RAM right here, 16 gigabytes each. And this GPU, the GE Force RTX. 3070 brand new we have our ssd samsung evo card oh my goodness that's just a few of the specs wow finally before we power on the pc this is the comprehensive list of all the specs in the pc i do want to clarify something real quick i misspoke earlier we did a uh i was able to pick up three black friday promotional items however i forgot that the, the keyboard and mouse were part of a bundle so i was able to get a 50 dollars visa gift card the mouse and keyboard bundle and then near the top of the list you see the 500 gigabyte seagate barracuda ssd card that was then the third bundle of the black friday promotion and this is a beautiful list of specs. I'm very excited about the Ryzen 7 CPU and the NVIDIA 3070 GPU. Before I get into the detail of what I have set up right here, I do want to put a little disclaimer. I will have a full setup tour slash cable management video because let's be real, this right here is not going to cut it. But I will have a full setup slash uh, cable management video coming up hopefully soon after this one but as you can see i did open up my keyboard and mouse the mouse i believe the box said 85 grams so it is incredibly light the keyboard is nice and slick this is a dell 24 inch well technically 23.8 inch gaming monitor it is with nvidia and G-Sync. This is a brand new monitor. For those of you who have been following my streams and YouTube videos, this is not the monitor I have used to play. The monitor I used to play is an Asus. Again, I will go through all of this in more detail in that proper setup video, but I just want to preface this saying that new keyboard, new mouse, new monitor, new PC. I think it's about time we turn it on and really see what's going on. Turns on first. And for the main attraction. Oh my god. Oh, and the keyboard and the mouse, they light up. That is awesome. And boom. Holy cow. There it is, everyone. My custom-made Origin PC with the Neuron build. And there it is. There it freaking is. Now it's time to set up everything else, cable manage, learn a whole bunch of OBS and Elgato software, and get the stream back up and going. Raven loves it! We got Raven's approval! Let's go! Oh, she's scared. She heard the fans. They are quite loud, but that probably means they're doing an efficient job. Let's go. 
with the PC officially unboxed and turned on, it's up and running, I now have a lot of work to do and a lot of software to learn. But this will then conclude our video. We got a little raven in the background. This is my first ever unboxing video, my first ever original YouTube video, so I apologize if there were some aspects of this that were either shaky, maybe a bit abrupt. I'm learning, but I still hope, even if there were some minor bumps throughout this video, I really hoped overall you enjoyed this, you learned something from this video. Raven is playing with her toy, I don't know if you can hear that or not. But thank you, everyone. I'm very, very excited to continue this journey of streaming. My goal, one of my goals, is to start making some original YouTube content. Of course, this video helps with that, so let's go there. But I'm excited. I will be honest, I'm absolutely overwhelmed. It's going to take a while to learn everything. I'm just going to pace myself, go step by step, take breaks, breathers, what have you. But I hope to be live in the next few days and finishing the setup and just this is a culmination of many 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 things a whole bunch of hard work and it's very surreal to be here right now i just want to say thank you for all for those of you who have been on my journey have followed me and thank you to those of you who want to be on this journey with me and will be on this journey with me thank you let's get back to streaming let's go sand squad I love you.